at the Florida Aquarium in Tampa, six toothy, 10-foot-long, 250-pound sand tiger sharks are being moved into their new home, where they'll soon be swimming with aquarium visitors in a new program. And while their menacing looks got them in trouble in the past, today it's also one of the reasons they make the perfect aquarium shark. Luckily for us, they only look the part of a vicious man-eater. Really, they're pretty shy. First of all, just from the point of view of everybody loves to be terrified of a shark, these guys really do have the look. So from that point of view, everyone loves them, mostly because they love to hate them. The other good reason is that they're relatively easy to keep healthy, not suffering as much stress in the capture, transport, and quarantine process that other species do. Ultimately, Marshall thinks appealing to both our instincts of fear and wonder could help these sharks and other species in the long term. Really what we wanted to do is make people aware of sharks. Because everyone has this mortal fear of sharks, you know, the only good shark is a dead shark and other things like that. We need to make them aware of that. And to do that, the best way is to have something that's really going to grab their attention. And these guys do it better than probably any other. You see those huge teeth and you'll see the public when they come in today they are just going to be like, at the window. It's happened before, they just, and once you've got that attention, when they're like that, that's when you can tell, that's when you can educate them, and that's when you can tell them, hey, this looks really ferocious, but did you know? And we can give them the information that makes them a little more aware that we're a lot more dangerous to these guys than they are to us. The shark goes by several aliases. In Australia, it's the gray nurse. In South Africa, it's the ragged tooth. And here in the US, it's the sand tiger. If you take a look at them, they're huge. They got these huge teeth that are constantly being bared. They look ferocious. They look like they're going to rip your head off at any second. And that mean shark look has gotten them a bad rap in the wild. These guys were blamed for more shark attacks than anything else. As soon as someone got bitten by a shark, everyone instantly blamed these, mostly because there was really no knowledge, but everyone just looks at the teeth in these things and goes, must have been a sand tiger. Marshall describes a gruesome pastime in his homeland of Australia there was a sport where they would hunt these things, where they use what's called a power head. It's a shotgun shell on the end of a spear, and they would dive down, and divers can get close to these. They're fairly slow swimming, and they would go down and basically hit that spear on top of the shark's head and literally blow its brains out. Actions like these caused a worldwide decline in the shark's numbers. As a result, the species is now completely protected in Australia and with only limited capture in the US and South Africa for aquarium and scientific purposes. But even if they were unfairly blamed for shark attacks, it doesn't mean they're completely harmless. They've got the capability to defend themselves very, very well. They don't generally do that. They're not a man-eater. They don't eat people. They eat fish and squid and things like that. And so you need to have a certain respect for these animals. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.